Hello YouTube, I'm your friendly web developer and today I'm going to show you something very exciting. You know how if you do web development like I do, sooner or later you're going to also do e-commerce. Very exciting, right? <laughs> and if you do e-commerce long enough, sooner or later your applications will step out of the virtual world of, of the web and into the real world of shipping, you know, real three-dimensional packages. Exciting, right? Okay, so there are two peripherals that no e-commerce seller can do without, and those are printers and scales. And many, many e-commerce sellers with a higher volume of sales will sooner or later opt for a thermal printer. And, and thermal printers, they are very exciting. So, there are several advantages of using a thermal printer to produce your shipping labels. First one, there is no ink. This is the biggest advantage of thermal printers because you, you don't need to uh, replace the ink or the toner um, all the time. And this is going to cost you less. The more you ship and produce, the more money you save by using a thermal printer. Oh, and they can only print in black and that is very, very fun and exciting. <laughs> then, they are typically built to last because they have only one function and they are mainly for business use. Thermal printers are usually very long lasting. And they are fast. They print on rows and not on paper stock, which produces faster printed output. And these advantages uh, are the reasons why you can save thousands of dollars if you do e-commerce with thermal printers. So basically most uh, e-commerce platforms out there, they have one way or another to prepare shipping labels for thermal printers. Those shipping labels, they follow the format of, uh, of the shipping carrier that you choose. And that could be the Postal Service or FedEx or DHL or UPS. So the industry standard in thermal printers are devices produced by Zebra Technologies. Zebra thermal printers are ideal if you ship very often and if you have a dedicated shipping station in your home or in your office. They are fast, they are reliable, and once they are installed and up and running, you can be sure that they can get the job done. Anyway, this week I had a very exciting support phone call from a client. Their Zebra printer, which until then had been happily spitting out labels for all their packages, for some reason decided to start printing only half of the labels. And you know how exciting it is to try and fix a printer over the phone, right? And I was like, okay, have you tried turning it off and back on again? Don't you hate it when IT guys ask you that? Well, in my case, that did not work. After several hours of exchanging phone calls and uh, texts and emails and photos, I was finally able to find out what to do if a zebra printer gets messed up like that. And I'm going to show you these magic commands that you can send to your printer and have it recalibrate itself when it gets all messed up. Take a look and see all those magic commands which I have stored on this uh, very high-tech uh, note-taking device. So just place those commands in a file and send them to the printer. And you can do that typically by connecting to your printer's IP address by FTP and sending this file. So let's see what they do. This JC command, it says, Hey printer dude, do you know how long and how wide your labels are? So could you please like just fire up your sensors and check that and recalibrate yourself? The next command that says XA, it simply means, hey printer dude, I'm going to send you a label format. Now the next one that says JUS, it simply means store all your settings in, in your memory so that they don't get lost uh, if the power goes out. The last one, XZ, it means, okay, I'm done sending you the label format. 
And that's that. If you're going to have to build any kind of application that actually talks to, to the printer as a peripheral, that actually has to print thermal labels, then it would be a great idea to actually include in it some sort of calibrate button that sends those commands to the printer. And then your clients won't have to delay their shipments while trying to figure out why the printer is not printing correctly. And you're going to save a lot of time scratching your head with the client on the other end of the phone line. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more exciting videos. Bye.